Okay, guys, what is really causing the hike in our gas prices? Would more drilling in the United States help to reduce costs? Would going energy independent with solar and wind really help the cost of gas? Some answers that may surprise you with a financial expert coming up right after the break. You're starting smart with the best conversation in the Valley. CBS 5 Morning News. Well, you don't need me to tell you that if you've gone to fill up at the gas pump, you are noticing prices continue to go up. I think 30 straight days now that gas prices have jumped a few cents every day. And I want, I'm want i joined this morning by Heath Bray, who is with Wealth Trust Arizona, your financial advisor. But yes. obviously, you follow this market very closely. So the, the questions that people have are, are why? Why are prices skyrocketing right now? Well, this time of year, we usually see a spike. I mean, May is usually the most expensive month to begin with. Um, we're starting to see some irrational pressure on the market right now with Iran. Um, what I mean by that specifically is their threats since uh, late last year to shut down the Strait of Hormuz, which I think 20% uh, of all oil in the world passes through. So you can imagine just that threat is causing the speculators to go wild. Yeah. And uh, it's it's uh, you're, and it's reflected right in the gas pump. You say speculators, and a lot of our audience <laughs> is just their heads are going to explode because you know they, they think that gas prices, a lot of people think that gas yeah. prices are just gonna pluck down of the air and there's no rhyme or reason right. to it. Now, there is a lot of instability in the Middle East, as you mentioned. Right. But but how much control do speculators really have on the price? Well, it's I would say they it, it's th there's impacts from both sides. Um, OPEC, I mean, those guys sit around and they, they're able to, to to negotiate whatever prices they want to use um, and whatever they reflect. But when you have speculators, it is a, it's a su supply and demand issue. It's capitalism. It's capitalism. And that's the thing I'm trying to explain is that when you have a threat to a precious commodity, then speculators will exploit that. Now, I've heard that if we, you know, because a lot of people think we just need to drill more, drilling mm -hmm. is the answer here in the United States and, and outside of our coasts. But I've heard that even if we open up everything that we've talked about, it's really only going to affect the price of gas about three cents per gallon. And that's right. if we open up everything. <laughs> so is that true, number one? And number two, what, what is the best solution? I don't know if it's going to... Uh, people equate U.S. production domestically with lower gas prices. That's not necessarily the case. Higher gas prices pressure us to become less dependent on the Middle East. Mm -hmm. It does not necessarily mean we're gonna have lower gas prices. I think what it does mean is that we can take some of the political angle out of it and then have some domestic production where we can actually realize some, some I guess you can say some, some benefit from being less dependent on others. Although you say that even if we become less dependent and we mm -hmm. start opening up different energy sources here in the right. United States, wind, you know, solar, right. it, we're still going to see four dollar a gallon gasoline. It's not necessarily going to help us. And I, you know, if we took Iran and the Middle East out of it, how could that not help us? Well, I, it can help us. I think that people uh, that 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 I deal with and the companies that we deal with, they get so focused on what gas prices are. What gas prices are as they rise, they pressure these other areas. The solar production in, here in Arizona, uh, in Phoenix specifically, um, wind production, the different types of oil production from natural gas fracking to um, the tar sands and shale oil production. Those types of, of technologies do not uh, deem themselves financially viable without a high gas price, crude oil price on, on the market. They markets. can't function unless we have they ha we, $4 That is a what gallon. forces those up, yes. Interesting. Yeah. All right, Heath, we have to have you back to talk more about <laughs> this. Hopefully, next time with better news that gas prices yeah. are starting to go Especially down. for those of us who have premium gas that they have to use in their cars. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for being hey, here. You're We're welcome. We're going to take a quick break. Yes, we'll be back right after this.